Hey crow friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is part two of my rice water rinse challenge. Now if you haven't seen part one, you might want to go back and watch that one first so you can understand what a rice water rinse is. I show you how to make it in detail and then you could see how my hair started to compare it to how it looks now. If you did already watch that video, welcome back. I'm so glad you came back. There are so many options of videos to watch today and you chose to watch mine and you chose to push that subscribe button and the bell so you knew exactly when I was going to post this. Bravo to you. Today I end up putting a poll on Instagram asking you guys what you wanted me to do for this video and I asked you to vote between using jasmine rice or regular white rice and you guys voted on jasmine rice and then I also asked you if you wanted me to use orange peels to help with the scent or lavender oil and after you know driving to three different stores on a little wild goose chase, I finally found pure lavender oil at GNC. I didn't even know they sold oil, so that was a new one for me. Shout out to Ashley Ashley for giving me that little tip. But a lot of you recommended to go to Whole Foods or TJ Maxx or Sprouts or Amazon. I didn't have time for Amazon shipping because I need to film this right now, but I'm happy to have it. It was about $9.99, you probably could find it a little bit cheaper, but this is going to be essential to helping get rid of the horrible smell that this rice water is about to have. So let me just do a quick run through of how I made today's rice water. Starting off with my rice of choice, this time it's jasmine rice. I'm gonna grab one cup of rice, putting it into a strainer, and then rinsing off the rice just so we get rid of any yuckiness that might be lurking around. And then I'm gonna pour all the clean rice into my jar. Then you're gonna fill up the remainder of the jar with water. Then I'm grabbing 100% pure lavender oil to mask the smell. You also could use peppermint oil or orange peels. Comment below if you like to use any other type of essential oils or anything else to mask the smell. But then you put the lid on and you're gonna let this sit for 24 hours. And voila, that's how we got to this point. Now I'm gonna let this sit for a good 24 hours in another cool place and then I'll be applying this on my hair tomorrow, probably just in the shower. But now, the moment you've been waiting for, let me see if my hair grew. So in the last video, my hair went to this line right here. So let's see. Interesting. Maybe a, wow. I don't know guys. What do we think? Did it grow that much? Does this stuff actually work? Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of last week versus this week. If you look at the line difference, it grew like a full inch. But I'm still kind of skeptical only because my hair is in layers. What if I grabbed a longer curl than the other one? I don't know. I'm going to keep wearing this shirt and give you guys updates on Instagram. So make sure you follow me so we can get down to the bottom of this. So what do we think? I don't know if it's like a drastic change, especially after just one try. I don't expect anything to work after just one use, but I do think that if we keep this up, we might see some significant growth. So I'm gonna do this stinky rice water once again tomorrow, probably gonna apply in the shower, and I'm very curious to see how much shedding happens after I detangle. And I'm back, it is now day two of part two, and my jasmine white rice water rinse has been sitting out for about 26 hours to be exact and I haven't opened it yet but I'm praying that this lavender oil calmed the smell. Let's find out. Whew, all right here we go. Oh nice. It just smells like lavender oil. Whew, I've really been dodging the smell train lately. Cool, works for me. Now I'm going to pour it into my strainer. We get rid of all the rice so we just have the water. Ooh, I never dumped last week's. This is probably gonna smell horrible. Be right back. Whew, oh yeah, that is gnarly. Make sure you add some essential oils. You're not gonna wanna put that on your hair. All right, now back to my second mix. I'm gonna pour this into here.
This actually would be good to put inside one of those bottles with like a nozzle at the top. That way you could apply it directly to your scalp. Okay, so now I'm going to hop in the shower, apply my shampoo and conditioner, and then apply my rice water rinse. For this shower, I washed my hair with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk shampoo and conditioner. This is how much shedding happened from the second wash. And now I'm going to apply all of my rice water directly to my scalp. And whoo, it was cold. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that one. But I am going to apply this all over my hair, drenching it from roots to ends so it could be completely saturated in this magical potion. This is also supposed to help with dandruff, so make sure you give yourself a nice little scalp massage, also to stimulate hair growth. So now I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for at least 30 minutes to an hour, and then come back and rinse it out. Fresh out the shower, I rinsed out all of the rice water. I let it sit for probably at least a good hour, and this time I did not add a deep conditioner on top of it. I ended up already deep conditioning earlier this week, so I didn't have to do it again, and I kinda wanted to see how it would work all on its own. So these are my results. I don't think it looks any type of way. I don't think it looks better or worse. It's just normal wet hair. But with the rice water rinse, I'm not expecting any type of instant results because this is something that's going to be helping our scalp and our hair grow over time. I'm probably gonna add in at least a leave-in conditioner tonight, let it sit, style as usual tomorrow. So I'm gonna come back one more time and do one more rice water rinse. Let me know what type of rice you want me to use on my last video. The first video I did brown rice, this time I did jasmine rice. Choose one more rice for me to try for next week and I'll be adding orange peels to help with the scent. If you're enjoying all these rice water experiments, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee so you can get daily updates and also my very final length check after three weeks of doing my rice water rinse. So hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post my next updated video. And we'll see how much longer my hair actually gets. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.